I put 300 players on a survival island in hardcore Minecraft to see what would happen when they were left all alone to fight against natural disasters, deadly creatures, and 300 other players that would be trying their best to live through this survival island civilization experiment. And as they all spawned in, players rushed to the nearby trees and tried their best to make boats to escape the chaos, as players already started killing each other. Oh wow, I just, I just witnessed a murder. But that's thunder, they're killing people over there, dude. With players already starting to die, others quickly got into boats and escaped this island as they spotted new islands in the distance. I'm getting a boat and I'm leaving. Freedom! Oh, that's a huge island, what the hell? As they arrived on the coast of these new islands, they started making progress by mining stone to upgrade their tools and finding other survivors to group up with to increase their chance of survival as players back at the spawn continued to die. Uh, oh, we found this guy know. over here. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Ripka, Ripka. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's go somewhere. Yo. You guys want to group up? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, let's go. Now that they had escaped from the chaos, survivors started exploring the map and were able to find structures on these islands, giving a few of them immediate access to food and a few extra resources that would be helpful for them on their adventure. But as some of the survivors went off alone, they started to realize they had a big problem, as there was one thing limiting their progress, the role system. When joining the server, each player was assigned one of three roles that would be crucial to their survival within this event. Players with the armorer role were the only ones able to craft armor, whilst farmers were the only ones able to farm crops to feed their civilizations. But finally was the miner role, which gave only certain players the ability to mine ores. With this in mind, players started to group up as they realized they had no option but to work together if they wanted to make progress in the event. So as players started to group up all over the map, they started looking for players with the roles that they were missing in their groups as they approached other survivors. Are you guys both miners? I no, am, I'm, oh, I am yeah, armor, he miner. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we are just armorers. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad. Very sad of an existence. Is this man to mine for us? Are you a farmer? No, I'm not a farmer. I'm a armor. God damn it. Why is everybody in armor? It, it doesn't make no sense. As players struggled to find at least one person with each role, Others started to plan on taking advantage of the role system by eliminating all of the farmers, meaning the entire server would have to rely on them for food, giving them ultimate power over the survivors. Pause. If we if we kill off all the farmers, oh my god, <laughs> that might be. Funny. God, we need to kill off all the farmers one by one, take them off the board. But their idea quickly fell apart as Pure Fudge died only moments later. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, no, why did Fudge die? He really wanted to be a bad guy this game. Oh. As their plan failed, other groups all over the map started to come up with different ways to make sure that they had all of the roles they needed. As they started looking for a farmer to kidnap. Is any of you a farmer or no? I'm assuming you guys are not. None no, are we, we still need a farmer. I, I think like we'll find someone hopefully soon. Hello, are you a farmer? Yo, I... Are you a farmer? Are you a farmer? Yeah, I'm a farmer. Oh, we got a farmer. We got a farmer. farmer. We got to go, go, go back. Go we back. got a farmer. We got a farmer. What, you just got to kidnap me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. We need a farmer real bad. Oh, God, we're kidnapping you. I'm sorry. We need you. <laughs> As these guys kidnapped a player, other survivors that had started setting up on the coast of other islands found people that they were missing much more peacefully as they joined forces with a nearby group of survivors. We really just don't get an armor. Sick, enough. yeah, no weapons for us, wow. nothing. Yeah, hey, guys, hey, guys, do you have an armor? Yeah, yes, we do. Yes! Yes! Do you guys have an armor? Yes. All right, nice, well, nice, can nice. We unite? Can yes. we unite into one group? Yes, yes, yes. Now, with small civilizations starting to form all over, there was one group of players once again that I hadn't mentioned yet, that had spawned on the complete other side of the map away from everyone else and that was the players of the Wumpus Island. In the previous edition of this video, these players worked together to take down hundreds of people that were trying their best to wrongfully destroy their civilization, after their leader, Aerokun, had developed a bad reputation in previous events. But now, after winning over the hearts of millions of viewers, they were back once again to try their best to build up a thriving civilization on these islands. And since they spawned so far away from the other survivors, this gave them a huge head start as they were able to easily communicate with their members without having to fight for nearby resources. I'm minor, I'm minor. Yeah, I'm minor. Nice. Yeah, we, got, we got one armor. Yeah, armor. 
so I can make you guys. Oh wait, you hover? Yeah. Okay, that's f great. Okay. okay. After quickly realizing they had one of each role on their team, they were able to instantly start making progress as their miners started searching for resources, and their farmers set up a farm on the coast ready to feed their civilization. But being away from the other survivors also came with other benefits, as they could easily start exploring the nearby islands without having to worry about other survivors attacking them. Oh, I see some two caves over there. I'm gonna go across the wall. Alright, uh, well, just be careful in case there are any sharks or something. Once their miners went out exploring, they quickly realized that these islands were covered with rocks that contained ores inside, which would save them so much time with mining. I saw so many rocks with diamonds. Why are you guys mining, bro? Rocks have more diamonds. With this in mind, they sent a few of their players off their island as they started mining all of the resources that they could find in these rocks. But as expected, not long after they ventured out, Aero, their leader, was spotted by survivors that weren't a part of his civilization, and almost instantly had a target put on his back. Guys, I spotted yeah. Aero over there. He have a diamond sword. Maybe no we, can, we should kill him for diamond sword or not? We need to kill Aero. We're trying to kill him? Yeah, they're trying to kill him. As one of Aero's teammates overheard these survivors plotting to already kill him, he was quickly told about their plans. Aero, yeah. you've got people who want to kill you for your diamond swords. To make sure that Aero wasn't killed by those survivors that were already plotting against him, the members of the Wumpus Island worked together to point out the rocks to their miners to get as many ores as they could, to help armor up their civilization as quickly as possible, as it seemed they had already found themselves some enemies. But as they continued mining all of the rocks, they weren't the only ones that had found out about these ores, as another group also realized and started calling out the rock locations to their miner to make sure that they were able to take full advantage of the exposed ores as well. Oh, wait, yeah, there, they there might, be. Be, might be ores here. There should be ores in these. There's iron right there. There's iron. iron the over here, uh, miner, there's a diamond over there. And as they continued to explore, they spotted an island in the distance that they thought was perfect for their team to start setting up camp at. So headed over. Wait, this, that, that island cross, across. You see that one? I think that one's like the perfect size because it looks like it rounds off. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna flatten this island first and then keep going from there. After they started converting this island into their camp, Players spotted them from afar and approached them as they looked for a place to live. You want to join the team? You're allowed. To, what, what, what's your role? What's your role, Maggie? I'm okay. not a farmer. Okay. Oh, dude, we have so many goddamn farmers. Jesus. No matter how many players approached this island, it seemed almost impossible for them to find somebody with the minor role. What, what's your role, by the way? Uh, TV, TV. What's your role? Uh, armor. Ah, oh, crikey, we need more miners. <laughs> Eventually, after accepting over 10 more players into their civilization, a group of four more approached their island and finally gave them what they were looking for. Oh, bro, what are your rules? What are your rules? What are your rules? Mine is minor. Farmer. Hallelujah, what's yours? Farmer? Now that this island had at least one player with each role, they were able to start making some real progress, as Fuego Wave took leadership and officially named this place as Targon, as he gave out jobs to help them advance their civilization. Alright, so we have enough farmers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get to the mine and start trip mining so that we can find more ores. If that works oh, with you. Okay. As Fuego Wave sent out their only miner to gather resources for their whole team, this island was making great progress. But this wasn't the only group that was starting to form a real civilization, as a few players had come together and started setting up a camp on the coast of another island. I mean, modern, do you Wait, reckon we stay on this island? It's an option. I kind of think it's, I think it's all right because we got all the boys here, farms set up. Yeah. Uh, and there's, we got trees and stuff, so I think this is good to stay. But things were quickly going to change for the players that had set up on the coast as the preparation phase came to an end and the shark attack phase had started. Careful, rise, rise, careful, bro. It's a shark, man. Shark. He's eyeing you up. Oh, actual? Look, look, look. <laughs> look as as well. Sharks had now taken over the ocean, meaning if anyone went out swimming, they'd quickly be swarmed and killed by the sharks, causing almost everyone near the coast to pack up their belongings and move inland to take cover for the rest of this phase. Oh man, run. Run. shark on run. the left, huh? on the no. what do you mean? <laughs> I'm about to eat you all. <laughs> but as some players joked about the sharks, it seemed others just assumed they wouldn't be attacked, as they continued working on building right next to the water, which obviously wasn't a good idea. Over at the Wumpus Island, one of their players that had been left behind to work on their farm also thought he was strong enough to take down two sharks all alone. Oh god, there's Oh! Monkey! Monkey. Oh, don't! Oh, oh my monkey. god, don't, monkey, don't get near this, it! Yeah. Just try and get it off of the land. 
No, don't oh, jump into the water. Oh, God, He's dead. Oh, oh my God. God. Owie. Now, as the rest of the Wumpus civilization stayed away from the water, the miners and armorers that headed out earlier were stranded on the islands that they had visited, as they didn't want to risk traveling over the ocean during this phase. Shark, Shark attack. attack. Right, let's not go back to our base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But being stranded on this island gave them even more time to find rocks and mine ores, meaning by the end of the shark attack phase, they had destroyed almost every single rock on this island, giving them enough resources to cover their entire team in armor. And now, with another five minutes left of the shark attack phase, they had the freedom of exploring this island as they knew they were most likely the strongest players on the entire server. And as they headed north of this island, they spotted the island of Targon in the distance. Wait, wait, there's a base. Wait, whose village do you think is that? Yeah, oh. wait, there's there's <laughs> people on that, like, next to us, kind of, so uh, be wait. careful. Wait, well, right, we can't kill people. We're, we're a peaceful nation. Table, we're a peaceful like nation. Are we, are we? No, I'm not having a repeat of what happened last time. <laughs> Instead of approaching the island of Targon, the members of the Wumpus Island started making their way back towards their own island to allow them to stay unknown as they now knew the location of another civilization. Yeah, probably a great Arrow, what happened to you mass murdering groups of like 78 million people, bro? Uh, I'm peaceful. We're trying to keep a positive reputation. Yeah. Now, as the rest of the survivors on the server stayed away from the ocean, the shark attack phase finally came to an end, having only claimed two lives, meaning players were now able to safely swim through the waters around their islands once again. But with the shark attack phase ending, meant the election phase had now started, giving each group 15 minutes to elect a king or queen to rule their civilization. Election. <laughs> Me, dibs. <laughs> That's how it works, no? Without wasting any time, a group of players that called themselves the Shroom Nation elected Not Terry as their king, as he fairly called dibs as the election phase started, whilst some other bigger groups took this time to properly set up podiums for their candidates to give out speeches. But as expected, with so many players in the larger groups, it wasn't going to be easy to get everyone to listen. Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> oh my god, this is a mess. Do my speech. Sit down, sit down. Okay, Do my okay, speech. Okay. Do my hey, hey. All right. Listen, I'm a farmer. I reckon I'd be a good leader because I've got bread and I can bribe you with that. Bread. Um, I can get you fed up. Bread. And what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 As a player called Vise bribed his way through the election with bread, somehow he was promoted to be the king of these people and quickly named them as the Oma Oma Civilization as he instructed the players to start building up their base to give them a chance in the build competition later on. Start building houses, build whatever, I'm build whatever looks pretty. Yeah. Put on an armor, armor bro. Uh, right here, where we're right here. I, can, I, I cannot yeah, hear right you. Here. This this good. Next up was the Golden Kingdom. As the election phase was announced, a player called Luna grouped up all of the farmers in this civilization and asked for their help in blackmailing the rest of these players into voting for him or else their entire food source would leave the team. Alright, hey, hey, hey. I think, I think we win this election. I think we win this election. How, how are we feeling about that? You can literally just solve whatever. world hunger and everyone I can solve you. our world hunger. And his plan works perfectly. After hosting their election, these players realized without their farmers, they had no chance of survival. So Luna was promoted to be king, allowing him to start organizing their team by splitting them up into their roles and giving them each different jobs to help their civilization advance through this event. Yo, 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 yo. If you're an armor, if you're an armor, go on the diorite. If you're a farmer, go on the wood. If you're a miner, go on the lapis. We just need to organize everybody. There's a cave, that, uh, like just right over there, you'll see it. If you guys all wanted to start going mining, because we need diamonds, just go in there, start slamming. Farmers, you're gonna help me do the moss farm. Armors, you're also gonna help because we have nothing right now. We have to wait nice. for them to get the stuff. As their miners were sent down into the caves, they started making progress. Whilst over at the Wumpus Island, their members were going to struggle with their election as half of their team was still missing from their adventure earlier on. No. Election. election. Our leader is gone. Oh, oh, where is there? But as they realized it was the election phase, the missing players started making their way home as Aero made plans for their election. Okay, I guess we're having elections again, so uh, we should probably get back and just, uh, you know, rig, rig them as always. <laughs> After discussing their plans to just straight up rig the election, on their way back, they wondered if their members would even still be alive after they had been gone for almost half an hour. Uh, I bet there's gonna be nobody left. They're all gonna be, like, gone. Uh, just don't kill Well, people. then we elect Aero. 
You know, that's, that's no doubt either. Right? Oh, no, they're here. But this wasn't the case, because since they had left, some players had actually approached this island looking for somewhere to live, meaning their population was almost twice as big as it was when they left. Hello there, sir. Hello. Hello there. We're, n we're not here to start anything, don't worry. Well, oh. We're just looking for teammates. So when they arrived back home, their members that had stayed behind couldn't believe how rich their group now was as they brought back all of the resources from their mining trip. Guys, we did some off-camera mining. What the... Well done, guys. How did you get netherite? Now, with everyone back on their island, they set up a podium and turned this island into a dictatorship, as Aerokun was the only person allowed to run for king. Alright, all of you know me. I've played plenty of past events. You all know me as a great leader. I'm surely not forcing guys to vote for me or you get killed and nothing like that. Um, so yeah, vote for me and you'll have a live a great life. For reference, I was working. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> that who would have so thought? Unexpected. Who would have thought that would happen? Yeah. Such oh an God. unexpected ending. Uh, so much yeah, content. So with two minutes left of the election phase, these players started making jokes about the other civilizations. Aero starts screaming chef. like fuego. It worked. Like, it worked for him. And the best part was, they were right. I want this team to strive to build the best looking island and to defend ourselves from the enemies that wish us to be dead. Plus I have diamonds so we can all have beautiful looking armor. Right. For Tiger! <laughs> After grouping up their entire team at their island cafe, Targon elected Fuego Wave as their leader after he once again shouted his way to victory. Meaning now as the election phase came to an end, each civilization had selected their king of choice. And as the island building phase started, players now had 45 minutes to build up their civilization, with the best looking base eventually receiving a reward for their builds. We need to win. If we win, we could get an enchantment table. To give themselves the best chance at winning this build competition, some civilizations started to merge as they hoped to use their huge population to their advantage. Hey. Good, what's good? Hey, what's you guys good? trying to combine nations, my dude? Yeah. Yeah. You want to give us a base tour real quick? This looks crazy. Yeah, That's you crazy. can. You already know what's up here. The Tiki Rock! Yeah. We would be, we would be yeah. glad to join you guys, but we need well, we just we need remain, fighters. We want to re remain independent. Oh, there's more people. Oh, hey, 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 What's up? Yeah, it's Chris, the most famous oh, man You the have the drip, bro. You have the drip. Abo, are, are, you, are you guys joining our team? You guys yeah, joining our team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, come on, come on up. We're building... Damn, this actually looks sick. And now, as Targon was easily the biggest civilization on the server, this didn't stop the smaller civilizations from still competing in the build competition. As a group that went by the Shroom Nation that were living on the coast of one of the jungle islands started working on building up this small base. And their civilization would soon start to grow in population as well, as a group of miners that had been cooped up underground since the start of this event finally decided to resurface after surviving down below on just mushroom stew for the last hour. I made a lot of mushroom stew. <laughs> oh god, dude, thank you. Yeah, we gotta live, I'm man. Just... I'm not gonna die. Oh my, oh hunger. my, dude, how many mushrooms do you find? This is insane. Let's wrap it up and get out of here. We need more, we need a better place than this. Oh, I see a name tag behind us, name tag behind us. Dude, 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 there's people, there's people. Oh god. Right side, right side. It's a group. Oh, it's a group. They're building, they're building. Oh. Do you guys want to check him out? Oh, they don't see us. No. Oh my god, this is awkward. Curve guys, two, look at cure us. two, cure two. As this group of miners approached the Shroom Nation cautiously, they were greeted by Terry, their leader. Oh, Dude, they have six people. Five, six. Okay, oh, what's it called? Okay, get in the boats. Let's try to go to them. If they say anything, here, get in the boats. Get in the boats. All right, all right. Oh god. Hello, we are peaceful. We're peaceful. We are peaceful. We are peaceful. I can't believe you if you say one word in French. What? We are peaceful. Bonjour. 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 I mean, you all can join us if you wish. We're the Shroom Nation. <laughs> you sounded so unsure about that. Okay, not Terry. One, one, I one thing. graciously thank you to welcome us, welcoming us to our to your group. Thank you. After basically stereotyping the entire French population by using baguette as their word of peace, these miners were accepted into the Shroom Nation and wasted no time in helping out their new teammates. As Guardian Dark started giving out orders to the team that he had just joined, with the hopes of winning the build competition.
Guys, give me a moment. <laughs> so we need, <laughs> we need somebody. We need like four people. May. Two people get cobblestone and two people get uh wood because we're gonna build May. a wall. Oh, oh wood! I'm the best at that. This is actually really fun. I'm actually having such a good time. Oh my god, I'm so useful. I'm actually so useful. So as they started gathering resources to build up walls around their civilization, they assumed that their team was virtually unknown to the outside world, as they had set up deep inland whilst everyone else had set up on the coasts. But this wasn't the case, as word of this civilization had made it all the way to Targon, as one of their members that had been out exploring had found them and reported back to their team. Uh, Where you go? Yeah, what's up? I also no, have some news. Survive. You know, you know the Kertov guy, the guy with the communism logo on his, uh, uh, yeah. on his body. Yeah. He has like a group of ten over there, over the mountain. Okay. Do they want to kill us or what? I'm not sure. I, I haven't talked to them. I so just saw like ten of them. We're in the island building. We have ten ish minutes. We need to start getting a wall built around. Do you think we have enough time for that? Oh. Uh, no, 13 minutes is enough okay, for that. We need to hurry up and go. Yeah, we're good. 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 We're Meanwhile, over at the Oma Oma civilization, after they had sent out all of their miners into the caves earlier, they started working on ways to upgrade their civilization. Hey guys, I'm gonna need one more builder. I'm getting every, I'm getting Zadamas over there to build a roof over the farm. So if we get acid rain, it's protected, and also it's extra style points for the building. So somebody, we're gonna need someone to go over and help. And the farm wasn't the only thing they built, as a few players had worked on smaller builds all around their camp. Welcome to the Sunken Forge. And here, you know, we got a little smeltery right here, and you know, we got a little furnace here. It works for progress. But despite their civilization actually making some great progress, they soon started to face some issues. Sammy, what are you doing, mate? Sammy. Boys. What happened here? Sammy literally just killed himself to the water. He oh, bloody yeah, drowned himself. Wait, what happened? He's, look, he's gone like this. And he just sat here in the corner and he's just drowned himself he's just drowned himself oh. and as players in their civilization started killing themselves they also faced another problem buddy we oh. don't have any miners all of our miners are gone i don't know where wait they're all dead no like they've they've gone off mining but then they just haven't come back oh i don't know where they are yeah Whilst the players of this civilization worried for their miners that they hadn't seen for so long, it turned out they were fine, and were actually having the time of their lives as they were out exploring the map looking for caves, but also may have got slightly distracted when they spotted a huge temple deep into the jungle. Yo, 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 um, yeah. huge temple. It doesn't look looted. Oh anymore. my god, let's get, I'm going down oh, there. Wait, 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 <laughs> hold on, hold on, you're going a little bit too quick there. <laughs> After finding this temple, they quickly realized that it had sadly been looted earlier on by a few other survivors. So they got back on track as they found a cave and were able to start mining for a load of resources. But since their group only had miners, they couldn't craft any armor or weapons with this loot. Yo, can you place down the crafting table? Uh, the crafting table's over here. We can't make armor, we don't have an armor with us. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. Wait, oh, you're right. I forgot. <laughs> God. So after grabbing all of the resources they needed, they headed back up to the surface to start making their way home. Or at least, that was the plan. Dude, I kinda wanna go like, search for a temple bro. That's... It's very tempting, but we, we gotta go back. We got eight minutes left. So tempting bro. After somehow being convinced by Elucified, these miners decided to go on a world tour, as their entire civilization was waiting for them back at the base to return with all of the ores that they had gone out for almost an hour ago. And as they set off to further explore this crazy map, which you can also play via the link in the description, they managed to escape the jungle as they found themselves at the entrance to Targon. Wait. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't think we should be here. I don't, I don't think I don't... we should talk to them. Thinking they were about to be killed, these guys sat at the entrance quietly, but one of them decided he wanted to have a look inside. Where's he going? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're gonna get killed. Yo, I'm from a different civilization. I'm here to say because we are lost. We have no, we don't, we welcome, welcome, have no idea welcome. where this Welcome, Thanks. welcome, welcome. Get Here to work, help people team build, team. help people build, earn your okay. What is going on? I, I don't Should know. We? Should we head back? I, I think because we got. Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. I don't know what's I'm going scared. 
I have no idea. No. Now. no. We, we don't have no. another option. You guys no. want to no. head back to the mountain and travel the yes. whole Iceland back to our yes. home? Yeah. I want to know. I want to know. Like, I have people back home, man. Yeah, we got a family. As it seemed, their four-man minor group was falling apart with Nordo wanting to stay here as the others wanted to leave and head back home. They agreed to wait here until the next phase was announced. And this wasn't a bad idea, as this place had made some huge changes since the start of the island building phase, after building houses, a watchtower, and even a prison. Oh no, I've been imprisoned. Are you making my lift into a prison? Oh, it's a pr oh, it's not a prison? Cringe. It's a mine. Oh. Just put Fortnite prison on it and call it done. What, what happened to John Fortnite? What? John Fortnite? No. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do? I'll break you I, out, I caused too much cringe. Ah, I'm leaving. It seemed at this point that Targon had made the most progress during the island building phase, since the other civilizations like Oma Oma were still waiting around for their miners to return, which obviously didn't seem likely anytime soon. But whilst all of this had been happening over here, back at the Wumpus Island, Aero was working hard to keep his members busy building, as they were also trying their best to win the build competition. It seems like you guys got enslaved. <laughs> Bro, we're yeah. just we're doing our part because you know when you're on the Aero team you protection. gotta you gotta do your part, yeah. It seemed players on the Wumpus Island were just building out of fear for Aero rather than building with the hopes to win the build competition. Which over at the Golden Kingdom was the complete opposite, as they had a fully functioning nation formed on the coast of this island that had been working together really well after Luna was promoted to king earlier on. This allowed their farmers and armorers to build up houses, stores, and even work on a treehouse whilst their miners worked away underground to get resources for their team. Sup? <laughs> they call me the whole man. And unlike the miners from the Oma Oma civilization, after finding a bunch of diamonds and iron, these miners actually returned to their camp after they survived down below on nothing but rotten flesh. Like some kind of cave hermit living off rotten flesh. So as their miners resurfaced and shared out the loot, they were in a great position as the Golden Kingdom was one of the most organized civilizations of them all. But as some players on the server started to suspect, the island building phase was running out of time, which meant surviving in this event wouldn't be easy for much longer. Chug, what do you think is going to happen now? I don't know. Oh, Something's God. going to kill everybody. Something is going to happen, yeah. This I'll say, what the hell say? And they were right. As the island building phase was put on hold, the plague had officially begun. Distance yourself, someone has caught the plague. It said distance yourselves. Oh my god, what are they doing? Uh-oh. Uh, John, it might be better for you to be in there now. <laughs> the plague, ah! I'm going, in the, I'm going in the lighthouse. You guys do your thing. This quarantine zone. Ayo quarantine, ayo quarantine. You know, you know the drill? This meant that one player on the server had been infected with the plague and would spread it to anyone within a five block radius, giving them symptoms that would only get worse over time, eventually leading to their deaths. Go back up, back up, back up. I'm running away from this place. As players distanced from each other to try and prevent themselves from catching the plague, a few of them soon realized that the plague had started at the island of Targon, as it spread between a few of their players. Let me cough on you. <coughs> Actually, oh, she has the plague! Run! Without realizing, Nordo had already caught the plague, meaning as he ran away from Simon, he accidentally spread the virus to almost everyone on this island. Oh god, it's somebody in here. Who, 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 who? It's Simon? Simon was really I have the plague. Back up, back up, back up, back up! I have the plague! Oh, back up! I have the plague too. Back up. Wiggle, wiggle. Get away! Back Get away! I have the plague! I do too, I do too, I also have the plague. Players tried their best to avoid catching the plague by leaving Targon when this phase started, but those that stayed were soon infected as the virus had spread almost all over their island. Get in this house, in this house. This is the plague house. Stay, stay here. If you have the plague, come in. Get in, get in. If you have the plague, come in here. If you have the plague, come in here and just sit. 
Sit tight. We'll get through this. Hey, back up. Oh, we shit, have the blade. Like back the f up. Get the f away. Wait, wait, wait. Fuego, everyone out here already has it, mate. Oh, okay. Never mind. Elemental <laughs> gave it to me. Here we go. <laughs> And as the plague continued to spread over here, word broke out to the other civilizations that Simon was the first player infected. Right, apparently Simon has the plague. Is Simon in first? No. The plague's Ele already... Uh, um... Uh, wanna get in a boat? Sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go. If one of us gets it, it's over. So was players all over the map spread out, Luckily for them, the plague hadn't left Targon yet, but over at the Golden Kingdom, they thought the plague had already made its way to their civilization, sending them into panic after Mosey Whitey had eaten some rotten flesh again, giving him the hunger effect. Oh, you're infected. Get it out of here. You should go. Mozzie, you should go. No idea, so just... Me? Get, like, go into the sea or something. You're infected. Mozzie is infected. Actually? Yeah, li literally has part of cool effects no, over I there. Have any, I don't have any gear. Do we have? Who even has it? Get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, it's not me. I don't even have the effect. After explaining from a distance that he had just eaten rotten flesh, their guard went down as they assumed no one in their civilization had the plague. All right, we're good. We don't have quarantine anymore. I'm, I'm, I think we're yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But once again, as expected, it wouldn't take long for the plague to spread from Targon to the other civilizations. Especially as the group of miners that arrived here from the Oma Oma civilization earlier on now decided to leave Targon after they had just caught the plague. Uh, you have the plague? What? You have the. Don't, don't go. Oh, yeah, he does, he does. Don't come too close to us. Just, yeah, okay. Don't come close okay. to us. I don't want to. Um, You can survive for five minutes, right? Yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah. Let's, right, let's We need to go back now. now. We need yeah. to go back right now. And I have the plague. I got you. <laughs> No, you got me! <laughs> As the plague had now officially left Targon, it was announced in chat that 15 players were already infected, which gave some of the smaller civilizations hope as they knew it was impossible that their civilization had caught it. I don't even think we're 15 people, so we cannot have the plague, you know. After the parrots figured out that it was impossible for them to have the plague, they saw in chat that it quickly spread from 15 to 20 players, as everyone at Targon was now infected after they had completely given up trying to quarantine their members, and now had no option but to send people off their island to look for a cow. Hey, Fuego, I can go on an adventure right now to go get a cow that I left over. Go, 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 go. Luckily for them, they were able to quickly find a cow and get it onto their island, giving them access to milk to cure themselves of the plague. But as players were desperate to get their hands on a bucket, Getting a cow only caused them more problems. Hey, line up on this thing right here. Line up, line up. We go one by one. Line up, one by one. Okay, one. Just line up back on the, on the wood, on the wood. Line up on the wood. Even with milk now being accessible to these players, they continued to just reinfect themselves over and over, which caused Fuego Wave, their leader, to lose his mind as he tried to get his team in order. There's you guys are just reinfecting yourselves! Holy <laughs> Get on the f stairs and listen! I'm I, about to start no, taking no, damage from this thing. Back the f and get on the stairs now! I need a chest! I'm gonna get one chest and we're gonna do this one by one! So after Fuego Wave explained his plan, they were able to make some progress as they went up one by one to cure themselves, keeping all of the infected players together whilst every Everyone else went to the other side of the island to make sure that they weren't reinfected. It's not hard. It's really easy to do this. I promise. Drink and now go put it back in and now leave. There you go. There you go. Get yours. Now put drink and put it in the chest. Look how easy this is. There, not next. But as always, some players struggle to understand this concept. It seemed almost impossible for them to cure their members at this point whilst other civilizations were perfectly fine as they continued to social distance away from their teammates in case the plague came anywhere near them, which gave them some time to relax. Hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll pull this up. <laughs> what the f***? This is Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> 
Whilst these two enjoyed a nice disco out in the ocean away from their civilization, they'd soon have to return home as the island building phase restarted, giving each civilization another 20 minutes to finish off their builds. Let's continue building. Awesome, we've got plenty of time, that's yeah, awesome. That's Despite the island building phase carrying on, the plague was still active, meaning those that were still dealing with it couldn't make use of this time as they struggled to cure their members. All right, there, come over here. Okay. Next person, next, holy, you're good, holy, you're good. See, this is so easy if you I guys just see, listen. I can't Go, see, to your right, to your right, get away from me, back up, right there. Drop him, back away, you're getting too close to them, you're getting too close, why are you running back towards the plague? Why are you running back towards the plague? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Next one, next one, next one. And things were about to get even worse for them, as a group of players that had left them earlier on had come up with an idea. Wait, I can sell the milk. Oh yeah, oh yeah, time to abuse this. With milk being so valuable, four players grouped up in a nearby jungle and trapped a cow for them to get infinite milk from, allowing them to sell it to players with the plague, making them rich. But with Targon already having their own cow, this would only work if they made some changes. One third of the global population is the plague. They have a cow. We need to kill the cow and okay, sell the milk. The yeah, go kill the cow. We'll transport. We'll transport this cow. You go to kill the cow. So after coming up with their plan, a player called Quax made his way back towards Targon in the hopes of killing their cow and taking over the milk industry. This is gonna get us executed. I hope you know that. You know what? We're gonna be rich. But things quickly took a turn as they arrived at Targon hoping to kill the cow and were caught in the act. Oh. Quack is trying to kill the cow. Quack was killing the cow. I need it. Can someone just let the pocket go? This meant, as expected, Quax was executed for his attempt at killing their cow, causing the rest of their group to abandon their plan to sell milk before they were also killed. But there were a few players on this server that were planning to do much worse things than killing cows, as over at the Oma Oma civilization, their leader Vise had left this entire team behind as he went out to try and find the miners that never returned earlier. Do you want to come off with me and I'm going to go explore other civilizations? After everyone refused to follow him on his adventure, he went out all alone and found the Shroom Nation that had been peacefully living in the depths of the jungle for almost two hours now, without any contact with the other civilizations. And once he arrived, he was greeted into their team and instantly started to try and convince them into committing biological warfare against the other civilizations. Are you down to come spread the plague with me? Just not here, but to other civilizations, and then we can get milk and cure ourselves, and then we're fine. Look, I like, I like the idea. However, I need to know where the cow is. <laughs> they planned to purposefully catch the plague so that they could spread it to other civilizations, hoping to wipe them out. And since everyone on the server knew that Targon was struggling with the plague, they knew exactly where they could catch it. Um, that's them there. You see that? That's them. With Targon in their sights, they approached the island with one goal. To catch the plague. Hello? Hey boys, do you still have the plague? Do you guys still have yes, the plague? very much. Okay. So after going in, catching the plague, and each getting a bucket of milk, they left this island as they started their search for a civilization to spread the plague to. I know where a big ass civilization is and we'll just go give it to them. <laughs> nah, wait, <laughs> you're actually such a mug. <laughs> Bro, this is gonna be so good. Oh, okay, so wait, what we do is we give it to everyone and then we drink the milk and after. then we leave. And then we just no. leave. Look at these guys. Oh my god. The civilization they were about to spread the virus to was called the Parrots, and they had managed to avoid the plague this entire time as they locked down their borders and isolated in their town hall when the phase started. Yo, it's the grand opening of the town hall. Everybody come look at it. Everybody in the yeah. town hall, in the town hall. As they all crammed into their town hall, they waited for the plague phase to end and then got back to building up their civilization as they had scouts keeping an eye out over their whole base, as they had actually expected people to try and spread the plague. Um, but there may be, maybe someone who's intentionally spreading it. it could be. Yeah, I don't think we should let anybody in. But despite predicting this, Tyler and Vise still saw their opportunity and took it as they snuck up to the walls of the parrot's base and came up with a plan. Hey, Tyler, Tyler, we'll, we'll sneak around. We'll sneak around, run through, and then just get. <laughs> just run straight through the jabber boat, jabber boat. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Alright, cool, 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 cool. We have to get out of here straight away, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting nausea. Hey, guys. Hello. Do you guys have the plague? No. No. no we don't know. Bro, that's gone ages ago. You have that stuff. So. Yeah, that, that's gone. Bro, are you over. stupid? You just came in. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, get it. Put the bed down. Put the bed down. We need to go. We need to go. <laughs> no, we got to get it out of the wall. We got to get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, bro. <laughs> After a successful swoop, they managed to infect almost the entire parrot civilization, as they made a swift escape into the distance, leaving them helpless as they had no cow nearby to cure themselves. Meaning they had to go out looking for one, which caused the plague to spread even more. Yo, do you guys have a cow by any chance? Wait, uh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, wait, don't get close to us, don't get close to us, we have the plague. And now that the plague had finally hit a civilization that didn't have access to a cow, their members started dying slowly as their symptoms developed to the point of blindness and wither. Oh, f withering. It's permanent. No. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. Uh, one kill. One kill. One. With no other options left, the leader of the parrots called Iso Shooter had to leave his team behind as he rushed towards Targon in the hopes to use their cow to cure himself. I am not dying to the plague. I'm going over there. Ugh. Ugh. Yo, do you guys know where milk is? No. I'm kind of... Bro, I don't see... I don't feel so well, bro. And as he arrived at Targon that were finally almost finished curing their entire civilization of the plague, he walked through reinfecting all of their members in his quest for milk. Drop it, drop it, now walk away, walk away. Next person. Yo, any milk? Anyone with milk, please? Oh my god. I saw! I saw I saw. I saw, what are you doing? I saw, do you want to be cured, yes or no? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna milk, bro. After ISO had once again spread the plague to all of their cured players, he was labeled as a wanted player, but this didn't stop him from coming back to try and get some milk. Yo, where's the cow? Oh, bro, you infected me now! Where's the cow? Somebody help! After ISO Shooter was spotted on this island once again, they tried to kill him, but he was able to escape just in time. I needed milk, sorry! Go, 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 get the milk. Do not come back, ISO. Now that ISO was gone, Fuego was able to restart his process and eventually cured their entire civilization of the plague after somehow having zero casualties. We have we have an order to this. It's I'll not hard bucket. to fix. Is everybody cured? I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, that was super stressful. Dude, uh, no, dude, that, dude I, I have a headache now, bro, because people can't listen. No, 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 come here, it's a whole bunch of kindergartners. And now, with only three minutes left on the island building phase, Targon had taken a huge hit, as not only was their team unorganized, but they had also fallen behind in development against the other civilizations who had been able to avoid the plague this whole time. Well, apart from the Wumpus Island that had a slight scare earlier on. Border All right, Aaron, let's go do Border Patrol. <laughs> All right. When the second half of the build competition was announced, Aerokun and Ihutch took on the role of Border Patrol as they circled their island, making sure nobody approached them with the plague, allowing their builders to continue working on their civilization. But not long after they started their patrol, they spotted someone approaching their island on the coast nearby. So, wait, wait, who's, that? who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? What the hell? What do you mean? Yeah, this is the guy with us. Are you sure he was with us? I'm not sure. You have to play. I don't know this man. Um, but he has the plague. He has the plague. Get out. Get out. He has the plague. You stay where you are. Stay where you are. Go. Go. One. Everybody. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. You have to shoot. No, 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 no. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Who is that? I Hutch acted quickly to protect his civilization as he assassinated the infected player, which meant he was now infected, causing him to infect another one of their members. Stay with no, me. No, I got the plague. Wait, who, got is... who got it? Right, Aero, stay back. I've got the plague. Yeah, Astro guy as well. Astro guy as well. Go away, go away. Wait, okay, Astro has the plague as well, so it's not looking too great. Astro has the plague? Oh yeah. no. Somebody okay. get Astro the bucket. Luckily for the Wumpus Island, though, they had quarantined a cow off the coast of their island, allowing Aero to grab milk buckets and drop them to their members, curing them all of the plague, after successfully preventing it from breaking out all over the island. Everybody get onto the island, we're still doing quarantine. So after almost half an hour, the plague had officially died out after everyone that was infected had either died or cured themselves. Meaning with only two minutes left on the island building phase, each civilization that had been dealing with the plague had to try their best to make up for the time that they had lost. So nobody here got the plague anymore, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I just got recently. I, I just got recently healed. So as the island building phase came to an end, each civilization prepared to be visited as they were expecting me to come to their islands and vote for their builds. But that wasn't the case, as the next phase had started. The tropical storm. Oh, uh oh, no. uh oh. Um, go into caves, go into caves, go into caves, go into caves. Let's go into caves. Oh god. Okay, so if we're inside, we're safe? Uh, it should be. A tropical storm was now working its way through the islands, bringing strong winds, destructive tornadoes, and acid rain, forcing players to take cover under shelter. Oh, oh my god. god. Everyone get oh. in, everyone. Wait, we lost oh, Chuck. Chuck died. Yeah. Oh no. In the cave, in the cave. Okay. Wait, he's stuck. Craven, take that. Oh my god, I almost died, I almost died. That's so much damage. Oh, there's so much If a tornado starts, everyone run down here, please. Players tried their best to take cover from the storm, but the tornado started moving in, causing mass destruction to any bases in its way, as it even killed a few players in the process. Uh, you, you have to make a run for it, maybe. No, 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 no. Here. Uh. No! Oh my god, we lost Gashi. Oh no. Yeah, that, that is just amazing. Yep, that's, that's amazing. No! Oh my, no, not, not him too. The Shroom Nation was its first victim as their population was not down to only three players as the rest of their members had been killed by the storm. And after it had blown past, they checked out the damage on their base, which didn't look good. But now luckily for them, the storm had moved past as it started ripping apart entire civilizations. Uh, I don't know, I hope one doesn't tear through here though. Oh! Oh my god. Well, there we go. Huh! Oh, no god. tornado, huh? Ow! It's so stunning! Ah! I, I, I'm dead! My tower! Swim down, swim down! No, Rick! Dude, my freaking tower! I thought it'd be safe in here! With huge damage being dealt to these places, a few players took cover in a treehouse that they had built, which was narrowly missed, whilst almost everyone else went underground or indoors to avoid the tornadoes. Yeah, it's all right, go. Oh, Emperor died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve? Steve! No, we Steve! Have to make the biggest grave. Tornado? We should get underground. Go, go, go. Everybody just get down here. Just jump. Hold on. Let me get down. Bro, what? Oh, oh, you didn't God. dig a staircase? Our base is probably like exploding as well, so. Like, I spent time sad. building as well. Depressing. Oh, well. Yeah. With a few more players being killed by the storm, most civilizations were lucky as it blew right past their islands off into the distance as the tropical storm phase came to an end. Now, the build vote phase was announced, meaning that any bases that were lucky enough to remain were given the option to take me on a tour, which started all the way over at the Wumpus Island. Arrow. Hello. It's that time. I got right, one so thank you. We have this yeah. amazing tower. Um, Hi. Person. Yeah. Do you Hello. have any extra gear? Okay. No. We've got some amazing pentas all around the island that make it look pretty interesting. Just sort of like last time. You you guys following suit from last time. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, Ooh, this brings down your rating a little bit. No, no. Dude, who built this? Who built this? Monkey man. Who built this? This is art, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's an art piece. Where our beautiful dictator okay. Um, We don't talk about that one. Um, Hello there. What's going on there? Oh, wait. wait that's that an odd looking cow. No, that's Alfredo the panda. Ah, okay, of course. Yeah, yeah. He, he has a uh, he, he has his morphia, so he doesn't know he's a panda. After showing me their more interesting builds, next up was the parrot civilization. Uh, so first we got the watchtower. And this is our bridge. Somebody made it for us, and then we just fortified a little bit. He actually died while making it. We got the town hall with the parrots. What level? Yeah. What? What do you mean? <laughs> what what level is your town hall? Bro said Oh, oh, it's, it's the max. The storm's armory. We you can pay for armor, but it's tax of one extra. Oh, wherever you're making. Okay. With them being a smaller civilization, their builds were far less advanced than the bigger teams, which was the same over at the Oma Oma civilization that had basically given up earlier on, meaning they only had a farm, some half-built houses, and a bar to show me. But this didn't stop them from trying to win over some extra points by offering me a drink. Welcome, adventurers, <laughs> to the beers and gears. What can I get for you? Um, <laughs> a beer, please. A beer? Well, uh, we have a bucket of water. As I moved on from here, next up was Targon, that was still by far the biggest civilization on the server. 
You know exactly what this oh. is. Is it? What is this? It's from my bar. Hi, can I have a melon slice, please? Oh, watch out. I got you, me. sword. Here. here you go. Despite them having to deal with the plague for almost half an hour earlier on, their civilization had made some great developments as they had built houses, stores, docks, and of course, their prison. Yep. John, how are you still here? As you can see, as you can see. This is the jail. Please he please made a bad crime. It seemed, after all, Targon had actually come together and built something great, as they continued to show me around their restaurants, outposts, and told me all about their religion. This is where we <laughs> preach to, to the holy sapling. Okay. I don't know why that's in here, but hey, holy sapling. After finishing up at Targon, I visited the Golden Kingdom. But before I show you their builds, I want to thank MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring this video and making these videos possible. If you ever want a server to host events just like this with your friends, check out the link in the description and use code SWORD4000 at checkout for 20% off any server order. Now let's get back to the Golden Kingdom. The team that had managed to stay out of trouble for this entire event, allowing them to build up a huge treehouse, a bakery, and a mineshaft, giving them a great chance of winning the build competition, as it felt like they had formed more of a family than a civilization. We're, we're gonna have yes. one minute of silence for Steve. Who's behind us? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the F5 and I saw him behind us. And finally, I had to include the Jungle Kingdom and the Gorilla Camp that had both been built up by a few small civilizations that had been hiding away from all of the other teams as they had just been trying their best to survive through this event. Where is yeah, everyone else? Everyone else kind of died. Oh. Yeah, we had like seven, two of us left. seven to 12 people and all everyone else died from the plague or Good at Lord. being attacked. So now that all bases had been toured, it was clear to me which civilization had won as I went back to Targon to tell them the news about their reward, which was linked to the next phase in the event, as the build competition came to an end and the treasure hunt had started. Treasure hunt. How do we find it? How do we find the treasure chest? A treasure chest had been buried somewhere on the beaches of one of these islands, and as the winners of the build competition were given a hint as to the location of the treasure, Fuego Wave decided to keep this quiet as he wanted to make sure nobody stole their reward. Oh, hey, wait. guys! That's awesome. Shh, 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 shh. Guys, go, go to the south of the map without saying anything to anyone else. Don't tell anyone else, go to the south of the map. Go, 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 go. Come on, come wait. on, come on. As they sent out a group of players to the south of the map hoping to find the treasure, others just started digging in the sand nearby as they tried to narrow down the location of the treasure. We just need to search every single beach. It's gonna be a main beach probably, not these small ones. So whilst these guys checked every beach they could find, Fuego Wave managed to get a group of players to follow him to the south end of the map as they followed their hint and started tearing up the beaches when they arrived. Why am I digging with my fist? Who is a shovel? Just dig with your keep boys. Mine. mine those beach boys! Extract it all! Extract everything! After a few minutes of digging, one of their members managed to uncover the chest from the sand, revealing tons of diamonds, netherite, gold, and the resources for an enchantment table, giving these players a huge boost in resources as they quickly shared out the loot that they had found to armor up their team. But as it was announced in chat that Jif had found the treasure, they started to worry about the target that this would put on their back. I, I can guys, we have to be ready place. for Arrow. Arrow's gonna come and kill us. With the thought that they would be killed by Aerocon for this treasure, Fuego told the team to act like someone had stolen it from them, meaning they would no longer have the loot which would save Unmute Ban Jif from being killed. Alright, let me lead us back in, so in case you guys can- Listen, if I start getting jumped, y'all just leave, okay? I'm muted. I'm muted, I'm muted, I'm muted. We're gonna just say someone else stole it, not you. But all the way back at the Wumpus Island, Aero had much bigger things to worry about, as he was dealing with a civil war that had broken out on his island. Earlier on, when they had finished their island tour, Aero left the Wumpus Island behind in the hands of three players, as he took the entire team on an adventure to scout out a few of the other civilizations. But the three players that were left behind weren't happy, as Aero had basically forced them to stay. I'm gonna uh, revolt. I'm we, gonna are we are servants. We are servants. We need a. This is not fair. No, I'm tired of this. I'm this tired of this true. too. Wait, hold on. As these three players talked about their dislike of how they had been treated, Mind of Neo suggested something risky. We're being expected to stay here at base Wait, hold while on. they go out. We could, we could trap. 
We need to trap the big guys though. After agreeing to try and trap their leaders, they got straight to work with the limited time that they had before Aero and the rest of the group came back, as they were currently doing a tour around the map checking out the other civilizations. Oh, wait, Sword is there. <laughs> loop around, oh. loop around, loop around. So whilst they continued on their journey, back at the island, Astro, Qualls, and Neo were able to start making some real progress with the trap. That was the final straw, telling us to stay at this island. Like, I know Hutch said please and all, but like... Nah, the please don't cut it no more. At least we... Yeah, we can't, we can't just be servants to the masses. But once the trap was built, they still had to come up with a way to get their whole team inside. We either live legends or die trying. Bro, Arrow's never been killed in one of these events, like... Are you serious? Why is he so popular? He sucks at PvP. Because he's known as the heavy PvP guild guy. Okay, get get him here. Get only Arrow. Message Arrow. Be like, we only need you. There's people here. Bro, that's so sus. What are you... <laughs> now, but Qualls and Arrow, like, he's not going to suspect anything from Qualls. Oh. Qualls is so peaceful. Qualls is like, nice guy. We're going to show him. We're going to show him what we're made of. Okay, I sent him a message. There's two or three peeps in full sets here. We're hiding right now. And after standing around for a few minutes, there was no reply from Arrow, and they couldn't see him anywhere. What's okay? What's the update? We're still waiting. No reply yet. Now that the trap was finished, Qualls and Neo saw the announcement of the treasure hunt phase, which of course they wanted to take part in. Yo, I'm gonna check for the treasure chest. I'm gonna go across to this one. Okay. Uh, traps ready. Where do you think the chest could be? I'm not sure, but it's on the beach. That's all we know. So as these two left the trap behind to start searching for the treasure, this meant Astro was all alone, waiting for Aero to come back. And he was on his way with the whole team. Who told you that there are people at our base? Uh, all of our builders, Quasi. With Qualls and Neo searching the beaches, when Aero arrived back, he charged onto the island with his teammates, looking for the three attackers that he had been told about, that of course, didn't exist. Where are they? Astro, where are the people that they? came over? Oh, oh, They're trying to kill us. Astro's in our team. Astro's in our team. Oh my god. Astro, you're so. You're so. <laughs> you're so. <laughs> How has that failed? You're... The trap failed horribly as it wasn't deep enough, meaning as the whole team ran through, none of them died. And now Lead Astro had the entirety of the Wumpus Island trying to hunt him down, as he managed to escape from the island as they had fallen into the trap giving him time to run over to Qualls and Neo to tell them the news. Bro, run, run, run. They came out of nowhere. But instead of running away with Astro, Qualls and Neo turned around as they threw him under the bus, hoping to save their own lives. Yo, oh, why God. did you guys, why did you guys let that guy build the full trap? I'm killing you. What fall trap? What? 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 what fall trap? Right, okay. That, Wait, what Astro happened? Astro guy just built a full trap to try and kill us. Which um, guy? We're going to go what? kill him. Lead Astro. Astro? After they somehow convinced iHutch and Aero that they weren't involved with the trap, as they gave the most obvious lie to Hutch, they had no choice but to join them in their hunt for Astro to avoid suspicion being put back on them. Bro, Quals. Oh my god. Bro, Astro is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do we leave? You're such a good liar. <laughs> Bro, I wasn't going to throw myself under. They caught him, they caught him in the that axe, was, there's nothing we can do. That was so crazy. And as they continued their hunt for Astro, Qualls continued to make things worse for him, as he kept making up lies to get him in more trouble. Yeah, but we're she looted our chests more. in the lighthouse as well and took the uh, stew. But after doing an entire loop around the island, they couldn't find Astro anywhere, which caused them to give up as their focus was changed towards the treasure hunt that had finished 15 minutes ago. We've no. circled the whole okay. island. Okay, wait. You're not here. The whole we've map. Circled we the circled whole the whole map. We're looking for... Okay, go to Fergus. Go to Fergus. Aero. As they were frustrated that Astro had managed to escape, Aero was no longer interested in being peaceful, as over the last two events, his patience had been tested too much. Meaning, as expected, he now wanted that treasure. And with it being announced earlier that Unmute Ban Jeff had found it, they started making their way over to the island of Targon. So I'm gonna ask Fuego for the treasure. If he's not going to give it, we gotta do it the other way around. We oh, ask cool. nicely and then kill him if he doesn't. Like... Yeah. We ask nicely, if they deny it, we might have to stand that war. Whilst the Wumpus Island made their way over, Fuego and the rest of the group arrived back at their island with the treasure as they stuck with their lie that it was stolen after they found it. 
Yo, Fuego. Bo, Bo, someone, this zombie skin, if you see him, get his ass, because he stole everything in the chest and dipped, because we found it, and he grabbed everything and ran. We don't know what the f he went. Them. Uh, do you know what it's like actually f annoying, because apparently there's some good ass in there. Like what? Like, they said there's a ton of diamonds in netherite. God damn. Yeah. Damn. Uh, we don't know what the f he went. I, uh, hey, bro, I'm going to keep a buck with you. I lied to you. I told them, I told them that we were gonna lie to you guys so that Arrow wouldn't know. I'm gonna get them start working on an underground passage so we can get the fuck out in case Arrow attacks. And as they expected, Arrow was on his way to get that treasure. If he denies, we, yeah. I just saw the guy arrive here with the stuff. Oh. Fuego apparently is yeah. denying it, so uh... With their plan organized, Arrow and I Hutch arrived at Targon looking for Fuego. Yo! Hey. Hello! Do you, even, are you guys even, sure even you don't have back, the treasure? Back, back. There you go. No! no we don't. Someone are you mute sure? got it! It literally said in the chat, got on mute got it. Got yeah! Back. And uh, I happened to just see a mute arrive at the back of your base. Hey. Oh, it's him. Where's Fuego? Hey, Fuego. Arrow? Yeah. What's up? Ah, we, we have a little talk here. Um, Alright, what's good? What's good? You see, you need me? Alright, so there's a boy on the street that you got treasure lord. Listen, I'm getting a lot of whispers saying you're looking to kill me. I don't know if that's true or not, but... No, oh, fair enough. Uh, well, you got the I, gun. I'm peaceful. As the pressure was put on Fuego, Qualls decided to continue digging the hole deeper for lead Astro as he mentioned him again midway through their conversation. Fuego, Astro was spotted with you guys, is that true? Yeah. So, Who is? Astro. Okay, hey, nice. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You are right, harboring a hostage you're doing, who tried man. to assassinate me. You're dying. Guess it's happening. No way. Who killed him? I think who was it? After Qualls lied once again, I Hutch that was almost trapped and killed by Astro had finally had enough, as he swung and killed Fuego for hiding Astro from them sending this entire island into chaos as members from the Targon civilization started arguing with the Wumpus members over the death of Fuego Wave. Whoa! Wait, did they actually kill Fuego? They killed Fuego. Oh. Guys, they killed Fuego. What are you doing? That's me gone. Now with these two civilizations on the brink of war, Aero had to act quick before he had a repeat of the previous event as he knew going to war with Targon would only end in devastation. And with that in mind, he had only one option to make things right for the people of Targon. So we really know you shouldn't have killed Fuego there. Like, bye bye. Was, we didn't even do oh, anything. Oh, I got he you a big present yet. there. I got you a big present like, we, there. You should have just attacked him and it you actually ready? happened. You won't, need, you won't be needed So anymore. we can only end this one way and one way only. Oh Nothing brought so much, but it is what hey, it is. Oh. W. Yeah, nothing personal. It had to be done. Wait, that's I Hutch. I Hutch. Wait. What happened? Who killed Hutch? It had to be done. It had to be done. Wait, why did you kill him? What did he do? Wait, did you get he any armor from that? He killed Fuego. I Hutch was killed by Aero for his crimes after he assassinated Fuego Wave without any proof that they were even hiding Astro from them allowing both of these civilizations to calm down as the people of Targon accepted the sacrifice of Hutch. But now before any other conflicts broke out, the Wumpus civilization left Targon behind as they headed home to their island to continue building up their civilization. And with Targon now under new rule, these two civilizations lived alongside each other in peace as they started to work on cleaning up their islands and once again developing their civilizations. Which couldn't exactly be said for the Golden Kingdom, that during all of this chaos had been out on the seas with the plan of attacking another civilization. Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Let's get on. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. On their journey, they spotted the Oma Oma civilization, that still after nearly three hours were waiting for their miners to come back, which didn't seem likely as after they caught the plague, they had died in the jungle as they tried to make their way home. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Ow. Where did you go? I'm lost. No. Nah, we're gonna fall like in some ravine. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I almost did. But things were only going to get worse for the people of Oma Oma, as the Golden Kingdom came over and used their code word apples to launch an attack on these people. We come in. We come in peace. We come in peace. We come in peace. Well, yeah, do you guys have any apples? Have a boat. No. no, we do not have apples. Have any apples? Okay. Oh my god! Oh. 
Oh, yo! Chill, chill, chill. Let's take the W, boys! They're literally work perfectly, let's go! Let's go! After they wiped out this whole civilization, they soon found out that the people of Oma Oma were actually allied with the Wumpus Island. Meaning if they found out that the Golden Kingdom did this, they would most definitely be wiped off the face of the server. Just like they did to the people of the Oma Oma civilization. <laughs> that was insane. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Realistically, how many people are on Aero's team? Who is? A lot. Um, Too many. Luckily for them, since they had killed everyone from this civilization, there was nobody left alive to tell the Wumpus civilization what had happened allowing the Golden Kingdom to leave this place and return home before they were caught as they stayed at their base, hoping that the Wumpus civilization would never find out about what they did. But now, as 80 players remained on the server, they had all successfully survived through the island experiment, as the remaining civilization stood strong, allowing them to live together in peace and continue to build up these islands into something great. On this journey, we saw what would happen if players were left all alone to fight against tropical storms, deadly diseases, and the actions of other players. But as these guys all lived in peace, the Survival Island Civilization Experiment had officially come to an end.